Hey, hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to get up and running in Python in less than five minutes. Very easy. So you open up your web browser and you want to go to python.org. When you get there, you want to go to downloads and you want to select the latest version of Python. Now I'm on Mac, so it shows me the Mac OS version. If you're on Windows, it will show you the Windows version. If you're on Linux, it will show you the Linux version. You want to get the latest version. At this time in 2017, 2.7 is the old version and 3.6 is the latest version. We want to get the 3.6 because it's the latest version. So you click download and you're going to have your little download appear here and you just install this app like you would any other app. Once you've installed Python, you want to go into your applications on Mac and you want to look for Python 3.6 or whatever the latest version of Python is for you. On Windows, you're going to go to your start menu, just look for Python. What you want to look for is this here, the IDLE. This is the Integrated Development Environment in Python. IDLE is short for Integrated Development Environment. It is an app, it's a program that allows you to write your Python code. You may be confused. Python is a programming language, but it's also an app, and the app, the Python app, is used to process all your Python code. This works this way for many other programming languages, including JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, Swift, Ruby, PHP, and others. So you, when you open up the Python shell, you want to hit enter until you get these three arrows here. This is called a prompt, where you can actually start typing in code. So I'm going to type in the very first bit of Python code, and this is the print command. The print command just tells Python to print something to the screen. So right now I'm using quotes and I'm printing a string of text, like a bunch of letters strung together. And I'm saying print the name Stefan. So Stefan, pretty good. So it prints. So let's do something different. We can store information in Python and we store them in containers and they're called variables. Think of them as little bags you put information into. So I say create this bag called name and put the text to fan into it. I hit enter. Now it's stored. How do we know if it's stored in there? We go print and we say print whatever is in the bag or the container, the variable called name. Hey, look, name is in there. Let's change that. We'll say name is equal to, we'll say the name is now Nick. Hit enter and we go print and go Nick. Ah, oh, we got a problem. Why is that a problem? Because there's no Nick. Nick is not defined. Ah, we'll learn about that in the main course, but we're just going to fix that. We're going to print name. Ah, inside of name, we have Nick, right? Because we did it here. Let's change it again one more time. We'll say name. We're going to say, now nah, we'll say name has a number in there. Name is equal to six. So now we go print name there we go six pretty good so let's change name again let's say name is equal to i don't know marty notice i got quotes around the text you notice how the text is turning all kinds of different colors if, if it's an error it gets in red if we're writing a built-in capability built into python the print command it's in purple when we're writing out text it highlights it in green Text can be created in Python with double quotes, as we see up here, and single quotes, Marty. So we hit enter, print name. So now we said name is equal to Marty. So let's say print name. We'll see what Python tells us. Ah, hey, yeah, it says Marty's in there. Pretty good. Well, you know what? Because we're in the IDLE, the Python shell, this window here, and it says right here, Python shell, we don't even have to print to know what's inside of the name variable. And how do we do that? We just type in name. There we go. Well, as if we want to print Marty many times on the screen, we go name star just above the eight key on your keyboard. We say 99. It prints out Marty 99. So there you go. We've installed Python. We've learned about the print command. We've learned about containers that hold information. We call these variables. And we learned that if we want to store information that is text, you have to use single quotes around the text or you have to use double quotes. Well, excuse me, double and single. There you go. You're up and running with Python 3.6 in a very short period of time. Hey, hey, if you like this video and you want to get up and running quickly with core Python professional coding skills, check out my course. Anybody who's done my course will tell you there's no quicker way and no easier way to learn Python.